<laughs> You're just still kicking me out, actually. Yeah, he's up there. <laughs> Old German Shepherd in my locker. Anyways. Can you believe, though, I mean, think about it, the fans are probably going to fill the stands with those Sunday. Yeah, I, I would uh, I would hope it's like The Purge minus the violence. Like, you know the movie The Purge? Mm -hmm. Like, minus all the bad stuff, mm -hmm. just the masks. That's, yeah. that's good. Yeah. Amazon should give you guys some sort of credit. I didn't get any credit. I didn't get, me and Lane didn't get any. Uh, we haven't gotten a cut, nope. which is bad business. Yeah, next time I'm going to buy a mask from somewhere else. No, legitimately, can you believe your dogs again? I mean... It is what it is. I, I've never, I really haven't cared, like, what I said to y'all the week before. Like, I'm just having fun with this. We're having fun with this. But at the end of the day, you shouldn't need any more motivation to try to win a playoff game against a really good team in Minnesota who have been kind of, you know, underappreciated themselves all year. I know they're hungry. Um, you know, they're a really good football team, and it's going to take our best. So, you know, to, to look at, you know, who's picking who, that's not really what I'm doing. What makes Keenan so tough? He's just, uh, I, I call him like a little mini Brett Favre. Like, uh, he's like a little gunslinger. I played with him before. I know what he's about. He's a great competitor. Um, you know, he can make a lot of throws in tight spots, uh, you know, out of any place in the pocket. And he, he and he is tough to bring down. They don't play as well on the road. I mean, nobody does, I guess. Nobody but does, so, yeah. so, you know, how... How much of a deal is the link going to be Sunday? Well, the link's always a big deal. You know, um, you know, home field advantage is big for a reason. Uh, that having been said, they've they've gone on the road and, and won some big games this year, and they're a good football team. So at the end of the day, it's going to take our best. Our fans can help us a lot. They helped us a lot uh, this past Saturday. Uh, but at the end of the day, it's about execution and all those things. And it's finally, uh, it felt different to us today because, like, Doug's press conference, there's the NFC. You know, championship game banner behind him. The Eagles banner's gone. The trophy's in there. I don't know if you guys even noticed that stuff, but but you've been through this before. What's the advice to the younger guys to, to kind of block all that out? Because it did feel different. Uh, you know what? I think Doug does a great job of keeping everything kind of the same way. The schedule doesn't change. You know, we work hard all year. We're going to continue to work hard through the playoffs now. And, uh, you know, just not making the moment too big uh, and not trying to do too much. That's what players get into trouble. Uh, everybody focus on doing their job, and uh, and we'll be okay. I mean, we'll be able to compete uh, and have a chance to win. I mean, that's all you can ask for is uh, to execute and have a chance to win. I guess finally, uh, one more question. There's another second. Finally, Bo Allen's from Minnesota. He swears. Oh, I heard he's. A, I heard he's a Vikings fan. He was a big Vikings fan growing up. That's what I heard. Well, he told me he was a Packers fan. That's not true, evidently. I knew he was lying. Yeah, not the first time he's lied. So I'm not saying you can't trust him. Hey, Bo, you were you were a big Vikings fan, right, growing up? Oh, the Vikings fan. Let's put an end to this narrative right now. Packers fan. Yeah, he says Packers. That's, that's a real troublemaker over there. Yeah. Yeah. What year did the Packers win the Super Bowl in the <laughs> '90s, bro? <laughs> Who did the Packers beat in the 90s in the Super Bowl? You don't know? All right. So Bo is obviously a Vikings fan. <laughs> Thank you. So write some articles about that. Could you, could you tell me a little bit about the uh, Vikings running backs and what you've seen from them on Phil? Yeah, the, I mean, it's a lot like the situation we just uh, had this past Saturday. Two really good backs, different styles. Um, you know, they've accounted for a lot of yardage and some touchdowns. So, uh, at the end of the day, you know, you really have to take that running game seriously because they've been a top ten running team. Doug Peterson earlier today said, you know, nothing's changed in practice. You guys are still in pads. But does the intensity level still feel like it's, it's going up? Oh, yeah, for sure. I mean, you know, we try to keep uh, our, our workload, our schedule, you know, the way we've worked, you know, consistent because, at the end of the day, I think what, what makes these weeks so good for us preparation-wise is we've prepared like this all, all year. So this is nothing new to anybody intensity-wise, and uh, we just got to keep things the same because the same execution that wins a regular season game wins a playoff game. I mean, it's, it, you know, that's, uh, that's what we've learned. And could you also just kind of tell me a little bit about your initiative with Michelle Obama? And uh, well, I mean, she's trying to raise awareness so kids fill out FAFSA chat or FAFSA um, forms. So, I mean, trying to get better, you know, educational access has been something that you know I've been behind all year. Um, obviously, what Michelle Obama is doing is 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 awesome. Uh, it's a it's a great um, kind of 
arena to lend your influence to, uh, trying to fix our educational system, but also trying to increase access the way it is right now um, and, and get more people opportunity and, and access. Is that for like one of many milestones for you this year with, with this entire movement that you've been uh, Listen, you know, at the end of the day, I was just kind of lending my platform to help out something that, um, you know, Michelle Obama has been doing a, a lot with her platform. Um, and as an athlete, you know, it's, it's my pleasure. There's kind of an intersection of interest there. And um, obviously I think she's uh, she's been, you know, so classy and um, kind of, you know, pushed a lot of great initiatives in her time in the public eye. And so somebody I respect and, and admire. So I think that's cool.